Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to solve problem number 3 under the topic polar plot. The problem is the open loop transfer function of a unity feedback system is given by this expression. Sketch the polar plot and determine the gain and phase margin. So this is the given problem. The first step is we have to replace S by J omega. So here I had done that. Now we are going to find magnitude expression and phase angle expression. So here the magnitude expression is calculated by here you see I had written this j omega here as such and 1 plus j omega whole square just I had written this single term in two terms 1 plus j omega into 1 plus j omega. Then then expression for the magnitude is here omega that is square root of omega square again this square and this square root will cancel each other so simply omega and for this term square root of 1 square is 1 and omega square is omega square similarly here 1 plus j omega you can write it as square root of 1 plus omega square right then the next step is here i am combining these two terms so square root of 1 plus omega square into 1 plus omega square is nothing but 1 plus omega square the whole square. Right. Now this square root and square cancel each other and the final expression is 1 divided by omega into 1 plus omega square. Right. Again we can multiply this term with omega and our simplified expression is 1 divided by omega plus omega cube. Right. The next step is we are going to frame expression for our phase. So this is the problem. So from this problem we are going to write the expression. So an omega in the denominator contributes an angle of 90 degree. When I move this denominator term to the numerator it is minus 90. Again here tan inverse of imaginary coefficient is omega and the real term is 1. So tan inverse of omega again this is a numerator term. When I move this to the denominator then that gives minus tan inverse of omega. Similarly here also again tan inverse of omega by 1. When I move this to the numerator it becomes minus tan inverse of omega. Right. So minus 90 as I am having two similar terms. And with the same sign you see here also minus minus so minus tan inverse of omega minus tan inverse of omega becomes minus 2 tan inverse of omega right so finally we had formed an expression for magnitude as well as phase angle then we are going to find the corner frequencies how to find the corner frequency we have to take the reciprocal of the coefficient of omega or coefficient of s yes. Right. So here when you look what is the coefficient of omega it is 1. So when you take reciprocal of 1 it is 1 again. Here we are having two similar terms. Right. So the, here there is only one corner frequency. And then next thing is we are framing a table. So in table we are listing out the frequencies first. So the, free, the value of frequencies you can take as per your wish. But the main criteria is you have to include the corner frequency there also. So here it is 1. Here I had included 1. And I had taken all the lesser values and only one greater value. It's up to you. Right. You can take some 4 or 5 lesser values and some 4 or 5 greater values also. Then the next thing is we are finding a magnitude. So what is the expression for magnitude? So this is the expression for our magnitude. Right. So in this expression just substitute different values of omega and find out the magnitude and just write it on the table there. Similarly to find the phase angle again this is our phase angle expression. You just substitute different values of omega over here and just write down the values of the angle. So finally here we are getting a table like this which includes magnitude and phase angle. Now we are going to draw the polar plot. So this is our polar sheet and this polar sheet again you should place your polar sheet in such a way that your right hand side should have 0 degrees and your left hand side should have 180 degrees. Right. So depending upon the values we get from the table we have to select the we have to scale the magnitude. Right. So here I had taken this one as unity circle 1 
this is 1.5 2 and 2.5 right so the thing is we have to mark the points so what is the value of first thing the magnitude is 2.2 and the angle is minus 134 so which angle is considered to be negative what is the negative angle the angle which are represented in smaller size are known as negative angles so here the first value is 2.2 right so this is my circle with unit 2 I need 2.2 right so here this is 2 so 2.1 and 2.2 so what is the value of phase angle it is minus 134 so here it is 130 and here it is 140 so between these two lies 134 so here you see this is 130 so 131 132 133 and 144 and this is my 2.2 line so this is my first point right and the second one is 1.6 and the angle is minus 143 so this is my 1.5 line right so 1.5 so this is my 1.6 so when you move down gradually the value of the phase angle is minus 143 so this is 140 and this is 150 between these two here lies our 143 right and the next one is 1.2 angle is minus 151 so this is 1 so this is 1.1 and this is 1.2 right angle is 151 minus 151 so here it is 150 so the first line is minus 151 right similarly you just mark the all the points and you have to join these points using your free hand so finally this is our polar plot now we are going to calculate the value of gain margin as well as face margin so the gain margin is given by this is the plot right so the point okay the magnitude at which your polar plot intersects your 180 degree line right so this is my 180 degree line and this is the point where my polar plot intersects the 180 degree line so here the magnitude of the circle is 1 so here the magnitude is 0.5 right once you take reciprocal of this 0.5 we will be getting the gain margin so the gain margin is generally represented as here first initially you have to write scale so in this scale one circle is equal to 0 0.05 magnitude then gain margin is given by it is represented by kg and 1 divided by that is g of j omega at pc so which is nothing but 1 divided by here the value is 0.5 right you people are clear with this i hope so the point where our polar plot cuts the minus 180 degree line okay the magnitude we have to take the magnitude it is here it is one so here it will be 0.5 so 1 divided by 0.5 is nothing but 2 so here the gain margin is 2 right now the next thing is phase margin so phase margin is given by 180 degree plus pi gc so here the next thing is our polar plot cuts the unity circle at a particular point right so at this point you have to measure what is the respective angle here so here you see it is minus 160 right it is just one line prior to it so here i am taking this angle as 159 right so by using a scale you can directly connect this line so it will be more clear to you right so here the angle is 159 that is minus 159 so just substitute the value here so which is nothing but 180 degree minus 159 which is nothing but 21 degree so finally we had find out the value of gain margin and face margin so here comes the end of the problem if you have any doubt let me know in the comment section thank you